Hi, I'm Ayman, and welcome back to one of my home DIY videos, or I guess, I guess you could call it an HVAC video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to test to see if your wires in your HVAC system are live wires or common wires. In my previous video, I talked about how the five wires that connect to your thermostat may not necessarily have all the five that you need. One of them might not be common. And that's why it's important to use this test to check whether or not you have a common wire. Before I go forward, I just want to say this applies only if you have integrated air handler unit. Uh, if your heating and your cooling are separate from each other, which is the case for some of my friends' house, which I've worked on in the past, then this method might differ. Uh, and also, if you do want to see us working on our friend's AC, we may or may not do a video on that in the future. But anyway, to, to explain why this method works, I just need to explain the basics of the thermostat. So the thermostat acts as a switch to direct power from uh, you know, the control board that comes from the red wire, the live wire, and it, con it, it, it connects it to one of three outputs the white wire, which goes to the heating, the green, which goes to the uh, fan, and the yellow, which goes to the AC. And so the, the thermostat acts as a switch to direct the red to all of these. But the blue wire, or it's supposed to be the common wire, acts as a neutral wire or a ground wire. It completes the loop. And this is important because I found a lot of internet sor uh, sources that said otherwise. They said that the blue wire, the common wire, not the blue wire in this case, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking generally. Generally, the common wire is what provides power, which doesn't make sense. And so many websites said this. But to get to the crux of it, what we should be reading with our multimeter is that the red wire should be putting out power, but the blue wire should not be it. Uh, it should not have any reading of voltage. I don't want to confuse you. Generally, blue is common. I need to repeat. In our case, blue is not common. And you know, so that's so. The 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 lesson here is that the color code doesn't always work out. Sometimes maybe you might encounter white might be hot. So you need to be a bit careful when you're dealing with HVAC wiring. So the reason that I'm explaining it, explaining how it works, is because that explanation tells us what numbers we're looking for. Right now, we already know beforehand that the red is going to be live. It's going to be outputting 24 volts AC. So when we connect, this is going to be hard to do. When we connect one lead to R and one lead to, let's say, white, or, ye or yellow. We can't use green because green's connected over there. Let's do it to white. It reads 27 volts. Let's try to yellow. You know, same thing. What if we tried for the blue wire? Oh, hold on, it's not contacting properly. There we go. It's 27 volts, which means that the blue wire must be a live wire. It must be putting out power. But as I was saying, with common, power doesn't come from the common. It, it flows into the common. So what we should be looking at when we connect it to common is zero. And as you can see, basically zero, whether we connect it to, to white or yellow. And if you see a reading of zero, that tells you that wire is possibly a common wire. I say possibly because, you know, maybe you're connecting the white and the yellow, which obviously is going to give you a reading of zero. For sake of demonstration, if you can, if you connect the, the white and the yellow, okay. See, zero volts. Uh, and lastly, I just want to show you guys what it looks like if you connect R, uh, if you connect live wire and common. That should give you 24 as well. You know, 27, same thing. Should be in the range of 24 to 27. So that indicates that, you know, this is putting out power, it's putting out at least 24 volts, but that one is not putting out anything. And so that's why it reads 24 to 27. 
So our takeaway is that right now, at least in this configuration, the red and the blue wires are live wires and the green wire is a common wire. And the reason the green wire is a common wire, we know that is because we repurposed it into a common wire. The most um, effective way to tell which wires you have or to identify what wire it is, is to trace it down back to your control board and see. So now we're in my basement and we're right here at the uh, integrated air handler unit. And right here is the control board. <laughs> this thing right here. I know some of you might have been expecting like a, oh, like a, like a, a green, like a PCB. But yeah, it's just directly wired just like that. It's pretty simple. Uh, and you have wires coming out of it. And then they would end, they would continue from here. And so there are two wires coming from uh, the rest of the system. You have this small wire right here. Let me see if I can use this zip tie to point it out. The small wire comes from the outside and this bigger wire comes from the thermostat. And if we trace it out, you can see it. The, the, the bigger wire ends right here in this tangle of wires where the red, the blue, the yellow, the green, and the white come out. And so you can see that the red wire and the blue wire, because they're live wires, we've actually put fuses on them. And the reason we put fuses on them is because my dad is worried that if we accidentally connected the red and the blue wire, it would short and it would cause something to go wrong. And so we put fuses uh, just in case, just for good practice. If you're interested in how to do that, we may or may not do a video on how to do that, but it's pretty self-explanatory. And we actually, we put those fuses before we knew everything fully about the system. And now we know that um, if you short the two, blue and red, nothing will happen because they're both connected to the same transformer, to the same, uh, actually they're both connected to the R terminal right here. So they're already shorted. So there's no issue. <laughs> but beforehand, we didn't know that, uh, we didn't know what the wiring was gonna be like. So we were worried that they, they were connected to two separate transformers. So, that, so these fuses are not necessary, but just in case, just to be safe, those are, that's something that you, should, you would usually put with live wires. And so the reason that my dad put a fuse on this is not because he's, it's not because he's worried that the two live wires will short together. Because in fact, if you look at the R terminal, they're already connected to the same place, so they're already shorted. But because he's worried that the the, the wire will rub against something else and it will short, like there, there might be some exposed metal that it will short against. And this actually happened at um, one of my friend's houses when my dad was looking at the AC system. He noticed that one of the wires was exposed and was rubbing against the metal, which caused one of the transformers to blow. So, sorry about that long-winded explanation. I tend to get carried away because I, I enjoy learning about these things and all the, you know, intricate nuances. But to get back to the main topic of this video, um, you know, just following your wires back to the control board. And so starting off with the green wire, we traced it and we followed it all the way back. You know, and it traced, originally, it was connected to G, to the G terminal. But what we've done, is we've repurposed it and turned it into a common wire. So, in, so we took the green wire and plugged it and took it out of the G terminal and plugged it into the C terminal. So now you can see the green wire is coming out of the, the C terminal and yeah. it's, still, it's still the same connections all the way through, except for this is just switched places. And in place of the green wire, we've taken a, another wire and we've jumped it to the yellow. So this means that whenever the yellow wire is activated or the AC is activated, then the fan will turn on. But as you can see, our system works. We were able to repurpose the green wire to a common wire and now the thermostat's able to turn on, which was the main issue before it didn't turn on. And in fact, we could rewire it and we could turn everything back to the way it was before. We could take the green wire and put it back to the fan and we could take the blue wire and rewire it to be common, but that takes a lot of work and effort. Uh, and we, we don't have time for that right now. Maybe when I come back from Harvard in the winter, then I'll show you guys how to do it. But doing something like that is definitely a good decision because in the future, other people besides us are going to be working on this uh, AC system. 
right now we know how the system works but you know a technician who's like 20 years old who doesn't have a lot of experience with it they might have never seen this before it's an and it's important for us to rewire the system so that in the future people have an easier time dealing with it for now at least our system is working so we're going to keep it the way it is right now but like i said we may or may not show you guys how to rewire the system to be back to normal okay so that's how to test if your wire is live or common uh, of course, it doesn't necessarily tell you if it's for sure common, but it tells you that it's not live. So I'm Naiman, and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and look at other videos on Naiman. Make sure you watch the previous video before this for context. So uh, when I'm explaining how it works, uh, I'm referring to things I said in the previous video. So uh, it might not have come across clearly. But thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I'm Naiman, and signing out. Peace.